Fire districts across Colorado are being seriously hurt by mandated reductions in funding because of a provision in Colorado's constitution. This provision means that increases in housing prices in the front range forces budget restrictions for firefighters and emergency medical services across Colorado, particularly in areas where property tax base consists mostly of residential properties. That provision is the Gallagher Amendment. In 1982, voters passed the Gallagher Amendment to the Colorado Constitution that changed the way homes were appraised, and it also required that the amount of property taxes collected from homes statewide could never account for more than roughly 45% of total property tax collections statewide. The amendment means that the remaining 55% of property taxes must come from non-residential property, like businesses and agricultural property. Gallagher also dictates the assessment rate for all property. What's the assessment rate? It's the percentage of a property's value that is subject to taxation. You don't pay taxes on the entire value of your home, only a portion of it. For example, if you have a $400,000 home and the assessment rate is 7.15%, you only pay property taxes on $28,600 of the home's value. That assessed value is multiplied by your locally approved mill levy. In Colorado, about 50% of assessed mills fund the school districts, 30% fund county and town budgets, and the rest fund special districts, like fire protection districts. Gallagher sets the assessment rate on most non-residential property at 29%. That 29% rate means that the assessment rate for residential property must fluctuate to maintain the roughly 45-55 ratio. When Gallagher was added to the Constitution, the residential assessment rate was 21%. But throughout the 1980s, the growth in value of residential property outpaced increases in non-residential property values. But due to rising residential property values, primarily across the Front Range, the assessment rate on homes across Colorado had to be continually lowered to avoid residential property from generating more than 45% of Colorado's total property taxes. Complicating this even more is Tabor, the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. There were multiple times when the residential assessment rate was supposed to increase, but Tabor did not allow that to happen. This unanticipated negative synergy between Gallagher and Tabor has created a terrible, perfect storm for fire protection districts as they work to maintain basic revenue to provide essential fire and emergency medical services. The assessment rate on homes fell to 18%, then 16%, then 15%, it hit 10.36% in 1995, then it fell to 7.96% in 2003. In 2017, it dropped to 7.2%. In 2019, it fell again to 7.15%. In 2021, the residential assessment rate is expected to drop to 5.88%. That is a devastating additional 18% drop in revenue for most of Colorado's fire protection districts. The mandated drop in the assessment rate on homes hurts different parts of Colorado in different ways. Areas outside the Front Range have been hit hardest. Parts of Colorado with a lot of non-residential property aren't impacted as much by the drop in the residential assessment rate as are areas of the state with a property tax base consisting mostly of residential properties. And unlike schools, which get more money from the state budget if their local revenue falls. Counties, municipalities, special districts, and specifically fire protection districts do not get any help from the state. And the problem will get even harder in the coming years, because increases in the front range residential property value continue to outpace non-residential value growth statewide, Gallagher will force more drops in the residential rate in the future. The drops in the residential assessment rate means that the voter-approved mills are worth less. That is why there has been numerous Gallagher-related issues on the ballots of Colorado residents over the last two years. Last year, for instance, East Grand Fire Protection District saw 65% of their voters approve a de-Gallagherizing measure. More than 60 other fire protection districts have asked and received taxpayer support for permission for their mills to increase enough to offset the drops in funding when the statewide residential assessment rate falls. Colorado's constitution requires that each special district vote separately on issues like this. So while East Grand Fire Protection District voters may have degalgorized their fire protection district, more than 200 other fire protection districts are still subject to the negative impact of Gallagher's automatic rate reductions. 
Some Coloradans might have two or three different Gallagher-related questions on their ballot this November. Their city, county, and fire district might all be asking permission to de-Gallagherize. But it gets even more complicated. There is also a statewide Gallagher question on the 2020 ballot. The statewide question asks Coloradans to repeal the Gallagher Amendment so that the residential assessment rate isn't automatically reduced in the future. If the statewide Gallagher repeal passes, the current 7.15% assessment rate on homes still can't be raised without voter approval because of the requirements of the Tabor Amendment. If the statewide Gallagher measure passes, fire districts will avoid the projected 18% drop in the residential rate next year. But many fire protection districts aren't waiting for the rest of the state to fix their Gallagher funding problems. That is why many fire districts are also asking voters for a separate and local de-Gallagherizing measure in case the state initiative doesn't pass. A yes vote on a local de-Gallagherizing measure and a yes vote on the statewide Gallagher repeal is a vote to protect funding for your firefighters, EMTs, and paramedics. This video is written and produced by the Colorado Fiscal Institute with support from the Colorado State Fire Chiefs using non-dues revenue.